My biggest challenge dickering is to slow down and make friends. I want to rush in and rush out. I want to get it done. I want to get it home. I want to get to the next place. I want to play. I'll clean that thing up for a hundred bucks and leave the brush. Sounds good to me. So awesome, Bill. I'm going to hit it. Most challenging part about dickering is if somebody knows that you really, really want what they got, because then you got no choice to give them what they want. What are you looking to get for it? Uh, well, I paid 1200 for it. I'm Ooh. asking 800 the most challenging things about dickering is walking away from something after you've expended time, money, and energy, and not letting that disappoint you, but making you stronger for the next time. There's no windshield, no throttles broke, bro. calip is missing. I don't care, you don't have to buy it. The challenges you're gonna face is sometimes you never know, if you go knocking and talking, you never know what you're gonna find on the other side of that door. You built a bridge, right? No. I was thinking like $100, $150. $150, that oh don't even pay for lunch and fill the gas up with the truck. Some of the challenges about being a dicker is at the end of the day, some days you don't walk away with what you wanted to make the deal with, and some days you don't make as much money as you needed, or some days you just don't make the deal at all. I'd rather just keep my jobs and do dickering on the side with you. That way there, I know I got money coming in. Dickering gets challenging when it becomes a must situation. When it's a do or die, like you gotta pay the light bill, they're gonna shut it off, you don't make this deal. 300 bucks is everything I got. Well, you, you've got to start carrying more money with you. <laughs> Usually when I go to get something, it's a challenge for me because I wanna make sure that what I'm going after, I'm gonna end up with. It's a deal. 